The AFL recently changed its concussion return to play guidelines from 6 up to 12 days. Well, this means that players may miss a game. It's also a big step forwards in allowing players to recover and minimise their risk of long-term repercussions of repeated head trauma and concussions. So this is a good step forwards in concussion awareness and it is such an overlooked yet potentially long-lasting injury that many AFL players unfortunately suffer. And this is partly due to the fact that it's not a visible injury compared to other things such as say a broken arm or a sprained ankle where you can physically see the injury or when it's guarded by the obvious pain if you return to games or training too soon. So what is a concussion? A concussion is considered a mild traumatic brain injury, that is in a post or moderate or severe, where there is no visible structural changes in imaging reports such as x-rays or MRIs. This includes things such as fractures or bleeding. And it occurs when there is a sudden and rapid jolt to the head and neck, for example, when players tackle or when they collide. And without getting into too much detail in this video, it causes shearing forces to go through the brain. Think of it like jelly wobbling on a plate. And this causes damage to the nerves in the brain. And this can lead to symptoms such as headaches, dizziness, brain fog, light or sound sensitivity, as well as trouble focusing on the objects around you. Now, symptoms usually start to get better, if not feel fully resolved, by about 10 to 14 days. However, it can take up to 30 days for the brain itself to fully recover from the injury. So forcing players to rest 12 days up from 6 is a great improvement. However, still, still not ideal, as while the symptoms may be better, it still does not mean that their brains are fully recovered from the injury. But nonetheless, a balance needs to be found, and this is still a big step forwards in the right direction when it comes to minimizing the long-term risks and injury uh, consequences of concussions. So thanks for listening. Bye.